our first speaker today is Wes, Wesley Marshall. Wesley is the principal of Martin Luther King Technology Academy in Twin Rivers Unified School District in Sacramento, California. And Wes is gonna share his use of the habits of systems uh, thinking for personal reflection and how he okay, approaches right. his jobs and responsibilities uh, as a principal of a large middle school. Welcome, Wes. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the Water Center for allowing me to speak with you all this morning. I'm looking forward to engaging in some great conversation as well as learning. So thank you all for allowing me to be here this morning. So um, for me personally, I want to give a little bit of additional context. Um, prior to me transitioning as principal at MLK, I was a vice principal at Grand Union High School, which is also in Sacramento. And that is actually the high school I attended. And from transitioning from Grant to MLK, we're the primary feeder into Grant. So I am the actual, uh, I'm, a, I'm a product of this community, right? So when you talk about the Grand Union High School and MLK community, we're a community um, that's very close knit, but we also have some challenges as it relates to high poverty and lower social economic conditions, right? And so when you're talking about what just happened in the past as it relates to the pandemic, we know that some of the negative byproducts that exist from that, you know, when you talk about inequities and disproportionalities and um, economic gaps. So this school year, um, it, it was a challenge, but I looked at it as one with a lot of opportunities for us to grow and learn, both me as a principal, as well as the colleagues in which I um, work with. So um, I think when you're talking about systems thinking, what I've learned that what's been um, paramount for me is the ability to support the reflection piece, right? In terms of um, being able to go through an authentic cycle of inquiry, right? For both for me personally. So again, just referencing the fact that I'm from the community, my passion and my protecting this other community based on what I just outlined, sometimes can convolute maybe a strategic action for um, putting processes in place to initiate improvement. So um, just alluding to Michael Fullen's work in terms of the importance of social capital, and professional capital, that was my primary focus in terms of ensuring that our staff members, knowing that me as principal, I'm side by side with them. And as we reflect together on looking at systems that needed improvement. So um, some of the key things that I use for me is like some of the terms in terms of mental models, big picture, um, long term and short term unintended consequences, which you guys are going to see in your cards here. But on the back of these cards, they have questions to ask, right? So for an example, many people are gonna come in with mental models as it relates to anything that we deal with as professionals, edu as professional educators. So a lot of the questions that come from these particular habits cards also allow you to, again, not only personally reflect, but other reflection questions that you can derive and making sure that you're modeling what you wanna see in the staff that you work with. So, um, just giving a quick example, we're talking about DNF distribution, which was a um, major goal of mine to decrease the percentages of those Ds and Fs our students were getting, especially in a virtual environment. I just couldn't come in and give my staff the do's and don'ts and, and basically highlight what highlight the things that they aren't doing. We had to go through a cycle of inquiry to ensure that our staff is coming up with their own um, their, their own self-discovery as it relates to reflecting on their personal practice, as well as reflecting with their counterparts, whether it's within a department, whether it's within a clerical staff team, reflecting together on going through the cycle of inquiry of what can actually um, be most beneficial in us, again, trying to contribute to the shared vision of improvement for our school. So um, I think that has been a very, um, very beneficial beneficial way for me to come in again as a first year principal to make sure that I'm looking to um, again support staff in, in the in the reflective process right and it's important for me also to have the cognizance that it take for me to to learn personally of what I can do to reflect because when you're talking again about this community coming to quick um, quick I guess um, conclusions as relates to how things work and how um, people may perceive things is not the way you have to really, as was spoke of early, really slow down and look into, again, what those things are that you can um, that you can institute to make sure that you're making sound decisions. 
And I'm going to turn my camera real quickly as I conclude. Every morning, you can see my um, my Kira coffee maker right there. And if you look further, you see the habit cards, right? So every morning, whatever I want to come in and do, if you guys can see those, I know I have um, a lot of blurriness here, but coming in every morning, whatever it is, whatever task at hand that I'm looking to do, I'll always reference these cards to give me reflecting before going into whatever that is I'm looking to do with staff. And again, working aside with my um, partners and, and my colleagues. So that's my story. Um, I really feel that, um, you know, um, again, with the leadership of Tracy and Mary, I've learned a lot. I've taken risks. Um, I, I see some district counterparts along with me, like Anna and Will Pope. A lot of these individuals we've worked collectively together, and I'm just very grateful to have um, colleagues and individuals, my leadership team, to support um, our growth as a school and for me to continue growing. So that is my story.